Here at the Burr Pit one of the things we're often asked is how we capture the footage we use in our videos. What graphics cards or mods we use and what software we use so we figured it might be worth a video of its own to help answer those questions. So firstly the method of getting the footage itself. I think an important point to say here is that all our footage is captured using the Elite Dangerous external camera suite. Nothing is modded or enhanced or changed. We're quite particular about that. We then have a couple of specific methods that we use to capture that footage. One you'll often see us use is where the camera and ship are moving independently of each other in different directions at the same time for example in the footage running right now. Achieving this is actually quite simple. We use multi-crew. The Burr Pit is very much a joint project between myself and my wife Commander Rini. As the camera work is very much Rini's specialist field I'll now hand over to her. Thank you Burr. Generally speaking when you see footage like this on our channel it's achieved by Burr flying the ship and myself operating the third person camera from a multi-crew seat within the ship. This is extremely effective for things like combat footage and capturing the more unusual elements in the game that you just can't film on your own such as interdictions, core mining or probing planets. We're lucky that our computers are seated right next to each other which means that while we are capturing the footage like this we are able to communicate with each other about what we're doing and what we'd like to achieve. Using multi-crew not only allows us to manoeuvre the camera and the ship independently of each other but also allows us both to focus on each half of the equation. The bird doesn't have to worry about what the camera is seeing and I don't have to worry about slamming the ship into something. Something I'm particularly good at I must say. It's also rather handy when flying through an asteroid field or close to a planet's surface. Whilst some of our footage utilises multi-crew not all of it does. We get through a vast quantity of footage when making videos and I quite often set my ship off in a direction and then jump out into my own camera. You'll see this quite often and you can tell it's me when you see a ship flying in a straight line or where there's no ship in shot, like what you see on screen now. Ordinarily that's me filming in one of my own ships. There are other ways of using the camera suite, like fixing the camera to the game environment rather than the ship which leaves you free to move your ship or fixing the camera to your ship so it films what you're doing but from outside your ship. But we rarely use this method as the results generally aren't as good but they are very useful tools if you're filming solo. One of our first rules of filming has always been film way more than you think you need and that's as true today as it's always been. Clips used in the weekly Witch Space News and our other videos are normally between 10 to 20 seconds long a piece. We do however tend to stay in the same ship in the same place for upwards of around 15 to 20 minutes with the results being that we have multiple 10 to 20 second clips that we can use in various projects. One of our overriding missions here at the pit has always been to show Elite Dangerous in all its glory and to show the best footage we possibly can. We're both extremely fussy about the nature of footage we show. We never try to let out jerky, twitchy or substandard clips and we're happy to put hours of footage in the bin some weeks if it doesn't meet that criteria. You can see in the footage shown here that the shot is smooth and about as slick as we can make it. There are other oddities as well that cause us to bin footage. For example the game has a blackout shader which essentially turns off the camera to stop you seeing around corners or under landing pads for example. This shader especially kicks in on planetary surfaces for mysterious elite reasons making filming there very problematic on occasions so this will often govern cuts we make. Ultimately there's no way to sugarcoat the fact that Rini has practiced this stuff in game over and over again. It is the path that she has chosen to take in Elite, one she absolutely loves and it shows again that there are many paths possible in Elite not always paths that Frontier had perhaps planned for. It's also the reason she's not elite in exploration yet however she has got very high combat ranking just from sitting in multi crew and all without ever firing a gun. We often hear feedback about how people find elites camera suite quite tricky and complicated to set up and then use. Rini has honed her skills over the years but her introduction was by watching Down to Earth Astronomy's excellent tutorial which is linked below. This is a must watch if you want to learn what the camera suite can do and how to set up the keys you need for operating the camera suite. For controlling the camera Rini started by using the keyboard and mouse but found this too twitchy and lacking in enough fine control. She then progressed on to using an Xbox controller which was much less twitchy and there are plenty of commanders who use this method. 
but to have all the keybinds and functionality she really needed for refinement in movement because multiple manoeuvres are often undertaken simultaneously we now only use HOTAS. Two sticks should also work but this isn't something we've tried specifically. Software wise as we've said before we're very keen to show the game exactly as it can appear to anyone playing the game in normal conditions so we use no graphic mods or outside tools to enhance or assist in the image capture whatsoever. Rini captures our footage using an Nvidia RTX 2060 with every quality choice within Elite's graphics options set to the max. For capture software we both use Nvidia's GeForce Experience on card software because for our purposes it's always on and recording and quite simply it just works. If you have a reasonably modern Nvidia card with up to date drivers the chances are you're running it already yourself. So there you have it. We hope that answers some questions and provides a bit of an insight into how we do things here at the Burp Pit. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then, oh seven you lovely lot, keep eating your greens on the way out and put your shoes on the toast rack. Or whatever it is he says. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>